lovely boulders. The main entrance. So this is the entry building. So awesome it is. Main ticket window. Pricing. This is individual pricing. You need to pay to park as well. You have conference rooms, an event space. You also have teaching areas. All that stuff is closed at the moment. But I do love the look of this building. All right, so I'm gonna go inside and get my hat. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in Akron, Ohio, visiting Akron Zoo. Now this is a more of a community sized zoo, but just from the beginning and the main entrance, it's fantastic looking already. So I'm excited to be here. Gonna spend some time walking around and check this place out and seeing all the different animals. So as you can see, I got my hat right after I went to the entrance. Had to go to the gift shop and got my hat. If you're familiar with my tour videos of zoos and aquariums, I always purchase a hat wherever I go. It helps support the zoo, gives me a cheaper souvenir, and it helps protect my head from burning, which is very important to me. All right, next up we got some Humboldt penguin. All right, it's the penguin habitat. The majority of them are in the water, but you got a few up on the dry part. But these are not Antarctic penguins. So it's here. We got a pink face. The legends of the wild. Alright, so we got one way pass throughout the zoo. We're gonna head here next. This cool stream. Get some duckies. The stream goes right over here. This place is aesthetically pleasing. It's a penguin habitat. The other side. Yeah, just keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming. This place is clear stuff, man, blocking me. I keep swimming. We follow an explorer's trail. This is the waterfall we heard. Some ducks over here enjoying the water. Some up on the log. The Madagascar lemur exhibit is closed. No. Inside this really cool looking building. No lemurs, I'm sorry. As you can see, we got one-way arrows, and they are doing social distancing. And we're going to see some alpaca and llamas. This is the alpaca, and they are smaller than llamas. Good buddy. Other than the size, they resemble them quite well. You got really nice pathways. Look like at Andy and Condor. So I apologize for the reflection. So you can see the condor right over here. Wow, that is a big bird. You have a little kids area, which is blocked off at the moment. The kids can go through the tunnels. You can go see some jaguar. Sorry, right, jaguar. So it's a jaguar's habitat. So I don't see him at the moment. 
So I will come back a little bit later. I love the stonework we have in here. Alright, Capybara. Hey, Capybara is in the back. Basically looks like a enormous skinny pig. The closest thing to resemble it anyway. But just all the design aspects of this place is just fantastic. So there might be more than one capybara in here. But I think that's the only one that I see. Well, that's the only one I see anyway. Yeah, hi, Kith McCaw. There's pretty birds. Pretty birds? Hi. Yeah, they were growling and barking a minute ago. Like they were dogs. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, see? Yep. Rubber, rubber, rubber. So the paths are nice and smooth and got foliage all around. Alright, I'm guessing it's called a tar. You can see him right up here. I'm not sure if there's more than one in here or not. We got a snow leopard. It's a snow leopard's habitat. So I am sorry again for the reflection. There is one of the snow leopards. I think one's laying on top of them. I'm trying to show you a little bit where the sun is blocked. There we go. And you got the conservation carousel, which is currently closed just because of social distancing guidelines. Got the Komodo Kingdom Education Center and Cafe. One of the zoo's largest expansions is currently under construction for Wild Asia. See Wild Asia opening 2021. Got this sculpture here, the kids climbing on a tree. Got the birds of Ohio aviary. Unfortunately, it is not open. So I can hear the birdies. Inner habitat spectacular as well. All right, so gonna go up this hill, the next portion. See more of the construction of the buildings. They're making up Asia. We got Grasslands Cafe. And this is their menu board. And we got mini donuts. Might give you some of those. And we got the drinks. All right, so I got my refillable drink cup. For $5.99. And I got a 10 pack of mini donuts for $6.99. Another Cross from Grasslands Cafe is a restroom location. I like the brickwork. Got some table seating. I love these tables right here. Here it's called Frontier Town. But it is off limits also. The Leonard Family Zoo Garden. This right over here. I'm gonna go take a look. And this is awesome. Lots of pretty flowers and these nice shrubs and trees and trellises. Statue of a doggy. Evidently, with someone's pet. Got this caterpillar. He's turning into nice butterflies. A nice place to take a set down break. Got 
Nature's Theater. This building is currently closed. Ooh, gardens galore. Over 7,000 plants in these gardens. I can see little butterflies flooding around. There's a good place for bees to come, collect pollen. Oh, we got some barn owl. Barn owl are right in the back. If I can get it to focus on the bird, not the not the mesh. Looks like there is two of them in the back. Got the Pride of Africa children's train. path he would take. Part of Africa train depot. This whole area looks newer. Part is the Boma. The petting zoo here with goats. This is currently closed. You can still see you've got goat. Got one goat, you can see through the fence. Alright, so once the stuff is open, it's the pricing. Train ride and bama feed. He's rebuilding the pride. The Aquan Zoo has been doing a lot of renovating and improvements. The Maasai Warrior. Alright, so these are the three animals we're going to see in this habitat. Some Spex Gazelles, White Storks, and Crested Guinea Fowl. Bye! Get on the arrow. Too far, Brendan. Stay with us. There's a Spex Gazelle. Cute little critter. And the white storks are easy to see. And the crested guinea fowl are right by the tree. You guys got an itch. Got my side jewelry. Do you have a restroom location? Right, so we are in line to go see the lion. Life of field biologist. Alright, lions. You ready? Got the lioness up here on the top. There's a male lion here in the bottom sleeping. I just want to give you a view of our habitat. See him here. And the flies all over him. Well, I'm sorry for the reflection. Alright, last look at Mr. Lion. More of the habitat. Now this whole area opened up last summer. So the zoo is doing a lot of updating. We care therefore we train. These are lions they have here at the zoo. The other two that they got. Got a little video here. See the lions playing with the ball, grooming each other. Oh, 
do best sleeping. Typical putty tats. On the wall in the restroom here. Fecal fact. Live a field biologist. This is a real Land Rover. Precious water for remote communities. This would be a water tower. Says clean water is hard work. We basically take water for granted. We just turn on the tap and out it comes. Do have a dip and dots right by the lion enclosure. The zoo is really out in nature. Get to see the natural beauty of the surrounding area. Alright, coyote. This coyote. Gosh, it's a coyote. Yeah, see him? Wow. He probably wants to see all the coyotes. Do you see him? No, don't going yeah. back in his little barrel. Yeah, he's got a nice habitat here. And then you got a little one. Oh, he's shaking. There's the other one. Alright, other ones? Oh, he's winning. Oh, shoot. He got mine. That's cute. No. Makes me miss my dogs back home. So you can see him inside the barrel. Because it's nice and cool. And it's possum sculpture up here on the fence. Seen possums back home. Used to come up to my house and eat the cat food. Got a red wolf. Got the red wolf habitat. And red wolf are here in the shade having a nap. Well, I'll stop by a little bit later, see if he's out roaming around. This is the Red Wolf exhibit. Alright, native creatures. The Eastern Screech Owl. And there's three of them. Right at the top. In their little box. Or perch. Got the Red Wolf Research Station. This is more of the red wolf's habitat. Oh, it's between the red wolf and coyote. Really love the design of the zoo. The rustic look. All right, river otter habitat. Yeah, river otter. Come on now. So the river otter's got all sorts of space and water to play in. He's in the water. Oh no, you're fine. Go ahead. Oh, he's sitting right back in. Possibly. His tail is just back in the water. He's chewing on his foot. <laughs> Going all around. Look, he did somersault. Did you see yeah. it? And you got a river otter slide for the kids. But it is currently closed because it'd be impossible to keep clean. Right up the stairs. Eventually, this stuff will be open again. Grizzly bears.
Because he came at the right time. He was cleaning himself. Whoa! Oh, yeah, some juvenile of the Grizzlies. See more of his habitat. Alright, got these cool river otter sculptures. Or statues. Never know what they call these properly. So down the path is more of the grizzly bear's habitat. So the little bear is over in this part. There's the big bear. Got a bear itch. Got a bear itch. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. So if you have some photo ops or well, normal but and they got this awesome grizzly bear statue or sculpture. Wow, this place is just fantastic. Well, it looks like the aviary is open now. Yeah. All right, so you got the aviary at Grizzly Ridge. And the birds of Ohio. So high up we are now. See so if you can see some of the birds. And you go across the bridge. It's a little tree house. There's lots of little birdies down here. Bird right here. So you gotta really take the time to look. Get this other bird right here. It's like a turkey. There's more turkeys down here. You see the gobble gobbles. See some eggs here. That chipmunk down here in the feeder. Well, that's a real opportunistic rodent right here. He must have found a way to sneak in here. Now he's a resident of this habitat. All right, got bald eagle. Oh, look at that. Oh, there they are, right back here. Oh, wow. There's, I see three. Oh, I thought he was looking Very pretty birds. So cool. Typically, bald eagles in zoos are injured, or they're not able to survive out in the wild. Another eagle. Let's explore Grizzly Ridge. We got this awesome, looks like a chainsawed log grizzly bear. Alright, so we are backtracking back down the path. Below view and outside of the aviary again, as I can see. Nice close up view of the turkey. A couple of little tweety birds in here. Got picnic pavilions. A little bit more of the construction. And we got Galapagos tortoise. I'm over here in the mud. Look at that.
That's coming up, man, to get his picture taken. What's up, buddy? My dad is going to love this when he sees it. Got a big tortoise in my backyard named Sheldon. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you doing? Or ma'am. How are you doing? Even though the Komodo Dragon building is closed, you can see the Komodo Dragon. What's in there? Alright, and here, on his rock. Oh, I see you. I don't heal for A Siberian musk deer. Now again, I apologize for the reflection. But they are off to the side. Sleeping. Taking a nap. Got the geese right here. The red breasted goose. So they call it red breasted goose. Or geese, because there's several of them. These are Chilean flamingo. Last up, we come to the flamingos. Morning, birds. Everybody's getting their feet wet. Except for this guy. Why aren't you getting your feet wet? Go get your feet wet. Go ahead. Yeah, buddy. Let's enjoy seeing the flamingos. All right, so I made my initial walk through the Akron Zoo. Fantastically detailed. They are doing a lot of beautiful work here, working on a new expansion. The Africa area, which I said opened up last summer. They've done a lot of other bits and pieces. The building in the front that is a log cabin is beautiful also. So it's not an incredibly large zoo, but it's fantastic. For the size there were a few areas that i couldn't get to because they were off limits but it was a whole lot what we missed so i am going to go back to a few of the habitats now and see if i can get a better view of the animals that we missed the first time around came back to indian condors habitat Mom. give his wings open sunning himself wow that is awesome you see how big the wingspan is. Alright, so I came back to the jaguar's habitat. The jaguar does have access to come out, but it's in the back right now. And it's evening enclosure. And this path that I'm on now, you get an other side view of the habitat. Playing in the water again. All right, so we're gonna exit through the gift shop. So this is the gift shop I came into when I first got here and got my hat. So typical gift shop fair. Lots of plush. So zoos are very popular with school groups, church groups, summer camps. Thank you. We got cheaper items for the kids to buy. And if it's a rainy day and you forgot your umbrella, they got you covered. And all the plush animals that you could think of. And other ones. And snakes! Indiana Jones would be freaking out right now. But I like snakes. You get some larger plush. All right, everybody. So that was my visit to the Akron Zoo in Akron, Ohio. I had a fantastic time here. Like I said earlier, it's not a huge zoo, but they do have a lot to see here. The look and design of this place is phenomenal. They've done a lot of renovating over the years. New area coming next summer. So there's still more to see in the future. Keep people coming back and help enrich the lives of the animals that are housed here. 
So thanks for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I go to zoos all over the country. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.